This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. A shout out to Charlie N who asked this question. What happens to the default protostar template when migrate me 4 changes the website over from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4? Is it a smooth transition to the default template in Joomla 4? All right, so Charlie, the first thing to answer your question, migrate me 4 actually doesn't do anything different for the migration process from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4 than if you just run it on your live site or if you make a copy in, in uh, with other methods. Uh, so migrate me 4 is great to uh, create a staging area for your migration to take place in and then you can test to see how everything worked and then you can then make your changes go to the live site with migrate me 4 but your question really is is what happens when you're migrating from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4 when you're using the protostar default template from Joomla 3 and you're switching to the default Cassiopeia in Joomla 4 so let's just take a look at that and a couple things that you can do all right, so here on the screen, this is a Joomla 3 Protostar template. I have the default uh, information, or I have the sample information installed on this Joomla 3 site, and I have uh, question mark TP equals on up at the top here, which shows the template positions that are available in the module if you have displayed template positions turned on in the options area for your templates on your site. So this basically allows us to see the outline of the module positions that are there in Protostar. Now I've done the same thing for Cassiopeia and uh, what you can see is is that the module positions for the most part are named differently in the Joomla 4 default template uh, than they are in the Joomla 3 default template and you can compare them here. Now you could do that yourself but actually on my site and I'll put the link uh, in the video description below I have actually made a table that shows what old protostar position corresponds best, in my opinion, to the Cassiopeia um, in Joomla 4 uh, module positions. There's three that are the same, banner, you don't have to change anything, footer and debug, but there are some things you need to change. So for instance, anything you have assigned to position 8, you didn't want to change the module position sidebar left. So let's see how that would look and how I would do that when doing a migration. So always test your migrations first on a copy of a site. So what we'll do is we'll go in back into, sorry, into the Joomla 3 component here. I'm going to go down to my favorite tool for creating testing areas, Migrate Me 4, and I'm just going to uh, click update this site to Joomla 4.2.9 as of this case. Now it's going to make a folder and do the migration in that folder, subfolder of your main Joomla site so your live site will remain. A few moments later. Okay, the test area has been created. Now we're going to log into it. We'll go log into the admin and up here you'll see our subfolder, our, our, our folder here is MM4. So we're just going to log in with the same admin as the Joomla 3 site and you'll see that it has completed here. Now we're going to just preview this site here. We're not going to see anything on this page because it's using all the old module positions. Uh, but next what we'll do is we're going to go and we will switch to uh, system and we will go to site modules and now here are our positions that we can change. So first of all uh, let's just take a look at one thing. I won't do the whole thing here for you, but we said uh, position 8. Anything in position 8 should be switched to sidebar left. So we'll go back here and we'll find position 8. I don't have anything. Okay, great. Anything in position 7, sidebar right. And we'll go back here. Hey, we've got a lot that's in position 7. And in fact, we, let's do this. Let's filter by the position, position 7. And now, what is it that we're going to change again? To sidebar right, sidebar dash right. So popular tags, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to go to the position, and I'm going to go sidebar right. Save and close. Now, because I'm filtering, that's just going to disappear from the list here. Uh, next, we're going to go main menu, and we will go here, and we're going to go sidebar right and enter. That's probably enough to demonstrate. Now we'll go back to the home page and we will refresh 
And there you go, main menu showed up right there. Let's do a couple more just quick. Let's look at the login form. I think that's another one that will show up there. Uh, sidebar, uh, right, save and close. And now we'll go here and we'll refresh. And slowly but surely, as we reassign the module positions to the ones that exist in Cassiopeia, they're going to start to show up and that can help with your migration. So all you need to do is just work through your modules. If you're using the default protostar template in Joomla 3, my, uh, in your test area, migrate, uh, sorry, change them to the corresponding module positions in Cassiopeia and then everything will be switched over and you'll still be using the default template only in Joomla 4. Now just to note, look at in Cassiopeia, there's a bunch of menu positions that uh, don't exist in Joomla 3, so it gives you a, a few more areas to play around with. But what I would do is convert all of your, uh, change all of your modules over to their Cassiopeia Joomla 4, then take a look at positions, then take a look at your site, see if you like what's happening there. And if you do like what's happening there, and once your site is everything else is working in Joomla 4, then of course, then, at least if you're using Migrate Me 4, you can go back here, you can click the goal and make your site live. Your Joomla 4 site will be replaced with your Joomla 3 site, and you will have migrated. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.